Hey everyone, how's it going? My name's Taylor, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Twin Channel Acoustic Pre from Orange. So, when you're thinking of acoustic guitars, Orange probably isn't the first company that comes to mind, but they've made this really cool acoustic preamp, and uh, we got this in the mail a little bit ago. That's what it looks like. Really sturdy little unit with these handles. All the Orange stuff has these handles on it, you know, these, like, carrying handles or something, but, um... I'd say if I had to guess, it's probably in the neighborhood of like 10-ish pounds. It's a two-channel acoustic preamp. Channel A is your tube or valve channel, while channel B is your solid state channel. Channel A has a quarter inch input only, but channel B actually has an XLR input with phantom power as well. This is interesting and I found this out when I recorded it. So the outputs over here, you have XLR outputs channel A and channel B, and then you also have a line output that's both a mix of channel A and B. So you could do a lot of stuff here like you could uh, send one to front of house, send one to your monitors. Um, you could like send the mix to a, a console or something like that for recording. Uh, it just gives you a lot of options there. Channel A and channel B both have independent effects loops. So if you want to run like compression on one channel but not the other, um, you could do something like that. And then there's also a foot switch input here for muting the preamp altogether. And over here you have your master controls. You have your main volume, your line input volume, and then the reverb. The reverb sounds really fantastic. Um, it's very, very rich and uh, sparkly sounding. And there's only one knob, but I kind of like that. I don't like when reverbs overcomplicate things by giving you a whole bunch of options. I just want to have one knob. More reverb, less reverb. It's simple, right? Love it. Each channel has your basic controls, right? Like your bass and your treble um, and your gain, right? So that's standard for both channels. Uh, this is kind of interesting in the tonal qualities of each channel is you actually have a mid switch here with a sweepable frequency. So what's really cool about this is you can actually use this to isolate certain harsh frequencies and notch them out, or you can use it to boost certain frequencies that are really attractive. Uh, no, that's not the right word. Why am I getting hung up on this? Another place that these two channels differ is channel A actually has a heat knob. And what the heat knob is doing is it's just adding a little bit of saturation to your signal to bring out like the top end. And it really uh, just makes everything sparkle a little bit. Uh, it's really, really cool. I, I highly, uh, highly enjoyed turning up the heat knob when we were recording this segment. Each channel has its own ground lift. So if you're having some electrical interference, this will help out with that. Uh, there's a mute toggle switch, which will mute the whole unit. And then there are phase inversions for both channels. So what's cool about the phase inversion is let's say um, you have a live gig going on and the microphones are already set up and you have your acoustic pre up at the front of house and you notice that there's some phase cancellation going on in between the microphone and the pickup that's actually in the guitar. Uh, you could just use one of these to invert the phase and problem solved. And then you have your phantom power switch right here. Yay. And then obviously this huge jewel light right here, uh, which is actually green, not orange, like you would think it would be. And then it turns red when you mute the unit, so green means go, red means stop? I, I don't know. So in this video, what we're going to do is have our friend Lucas play through an acoustic guitar, and I'm going to show you what each channel sounds like individually, and then what both channels sound like when they are blended together. Mm -hmm. 